kind of win a hundred dollars? So actually do uh, a show. Uncle, you interested to win one hundred dollars? No, not interested. <laughs> Would you be interested to win hundred dollars? No. Welcome to Food Finders. Season 4, episode 1. We are here at Birdo and we have Jen with us. For today's episode, we're gonna try something a bit different. We will give $100 to anyone that can tell us where the best food in Birdo is. We'll ask them for a food recommendation and we will go and try the food. If we like the food, we think it's the best, that person wins $100. So if it's a split decision, you like this stall and I like another stall, then we actually split 50-50. Let's go, let's find people, residents of Burdok. Hi, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, okay, okay. You know me. <laughs> oh, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah, do you want to win a hundred dollars? So actually do a show. Ah, this is so tough. Uncle, you interested to win one hundred dollars? No, not interested. Okay, let's go. Hi, excuse me. Uh, would you be interested to win a hundred dollars? No! Would you be willing to participate to win $100? Very simple. Short tomato. What? I just, just need you recommend. to tell me a good food spot in Bedok. I want the Uncle Lai Uncle Lai, the Pu Tian fried rice. <laughs> what do I think here is good? This chicken rice itself. Do you remember the name or not? Wow, I can't remember leh. Jin Sun Li. But the store is not open today. <laughs> tai Chi porridge. Dessert is uh, this one, Art Boling. You know why it's Art Boling? This one is good. Out of everything, do you have one best recommendation? This one ah. The the oyster Fuzhou oyster cake. Uh, do you want to win a hundred dollars? Oh, you want to win one hundred dollars? Okay, it's like Bordeaux, right? The best thing. The second answer is what? What's the name? It's not a soup. 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 Yeah, this is one of the recommendations. We're gonna try this. That's like oysters. Prawns and minced meat. I would say it's seriously like filled to the brim. I actually really like oyster cake. This is like probably my first time eating. It's not oily. Eh. It's a very juicy cake. The interesting thing is that they said they use soybean flour, so they grind like oyster. fresh soybean. You like? I like. I love oyster cake. So how does this differ from the other stores? I think the filling here is more generous so far. The cake itself is quite unique. It's actually a strong contender. Yeah. Oof. Next food. You know, this is a very new concept to me. I've only eaten dry for my whole life. Yes, so Singsi Rose Mian. Like the soup version is not common. Like it feels like a very burdock thing, honestly. It's but I can get weird. why people like it. It's like very yeah. comforting. It's like uh, just a hot bowl of noodles. I especially like the minced meat, it's like very soft. It's a very hearty dish that you can go back like every day. I love it, I love it. But I don't think it's very like it's wow. Tomorrow. Really? So what do you define as best? Something that you can go back all the time or something that is gonna wow you at your first taste? I would prefer something that I will keep going back. Like so even if it's wow but like eat one time but like eh, I don't feel like eating again. Like then that doesn't work for me. This is the bar chow mee I'm the most familiar with. But I would say no, but like, this is not bar chow mee. It's fishball noodle, different. Fishball noodle. The cheese is like quite unique. It's very aromatic. I like I the flavor. The, the sauce is really nice. I yeah. like the flavor. Like the I think flavor. this is a above average fishball noodle lah. Yeah. No, no, there was like a meatball. The meatball. There was only one right. And I ate it right. It's damn good. It had a lot of like spring onion inside, and then it's mixed with meat and fish. So the texture is like super soft. Okay, so next recommendation. This is Eric's recommendation. Chicken rice. It actually looks really good, and I I like that they provide like the ginger, uh, dark sauce, and chili. The skin has a very like jelly jelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It actually looks really good. So it looks really good. It's really good. How uh, do you okay, eat your rice? With my mouth. It got the... The rice is very siang. Mm, the lily is siang, you know. How's the chicken? Very aromatic. Like, you get a lot of like the garlic and all. It's a good chicken rice. It's a damn good chicken very rice. Good. Look how jelly is the... Wiggle, wiggle. The sauce they use is a bit darker than usual though. I think they put sugar. It's probably some sugar lah. Yeah, yeah. But that sauce is not that sweet. I'll say this is like, like my top five chicken rice. I'll say. Let us move off to the next place. <laughs> We're at Bedok North. Bedok North. 511 Hawker Centre. I mean, now it's quite quiet, but we're gonna mm. hunt down some people. Force here. them to tell us what is good food here. Uh, we are looking for food recommendations, but you the guys, best one, uh, yeah. we will be giving them $100. We're gonna give $100. So it must be the best, I must think it through. Cannot be like, oh, what I just ate. There's only two. XO Bill, I think they call it the Kwa Miswa. If you are talking about for Muslim food, it will be the last number. 
Alif nasi lemak. I should say that Indian store. Exactly what dish? The rojak and the rest lah. All the tulang, so the soup kambing, yes. Or the mee sua. Kosengki mee sua. I guess we can just go with that. Uh, we have three picks. I think that's, that's pretty decent. Enough talking. Let's start eating. So sengki. Sengki black chicken herbal soup and kidney okay. mee sua. Mark's recommendation. Okay, Mark's from the drink right. store. Okay, Mark, the drinks. So Sinki is is quite famous, lah. I'm actually quite um intrigued by the soup. It's super thick, and they seem to have like a cauldron of like stock going all the while. How is it? Thick. Yeah, like the body is like quite thick. Though. For me, it kind of covers up the flavour of the kidney. It's a very comforting bowl of soup. Uh. Oh, the lean pot is damn good. Uh. No. It's marinated or it's like tenderized or something. I think it's tenderized. No, is it not tenderized? If it's tenderized, it will be Come like on. very like silky. But this is like, it's very soft. Also, there's a bite to it. I like the soup a lot when you eat the mee sua, right? It's like thick enough that it just coats the noodles. So it's really nice together. Oh, we didn't so much really, but like, this is really good though. And it's not very common as well. The stock is really like brewed for a very long time, I'm sure. So this okay. is black chicken soup. Yes. It's actually my favourite soup growing up. Wow. Because I have like a lot of white hair when I was younger. Oh. I had a lot of white hair, but then now it's like okay. completely black again. Because you eat black chicken soup? Maybe, I don't know. No way, really? Because of that, then my mum always makes black chicken soup. The inside actually looks like a normal chicken. It's still soup. very good. A bit different from the normal chicken soup, right? Yeah. It's more like strong, right? It's, it's pretty good. I really like this. I think the meat is good as well. Like it's not like totally dry. Yeah, it's very juicy. Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't cook it till it's totally dry. That's actually quite different for a lot of black chicken soups. I think it's pretty good, man. Let's try the next recommendation. Alif Nasi Lemak, recommended by Chris. I'm I feel sorry. like this is a super rave store. Because when we walk down the line, right, everywhere we look, we saw uh, a plate of nasi lemak. Try the rice first. Ooh. Rice is pretty good. But slightly on the salty side though for the rice. I like the coconut flavor though, it's very very strong. It's very fluffy I would say. The yeah. sambal is a bit sweet for me. I find the rice saltier, but then when you eat it with the sambal, it's okay. I mean... <laughs> not the best fried chicken. Not the best fried chicken. The rice was uh, a lot better than the fried chicken. You can't believe it's incredibly crispy. It reminds me a lot of like those classic nasi lemak. Excluding the chicken and the fried fish, which is like just add-ons to a nasi lemak. The rest of the items were really good, like the ikan bilis, the sambal, rice. But why not peanuts? I will come back if I'm craving nasi lemak. Okay, we're gonna try the next one. Indian roja From Muhammad Ursha. Now Linda's recommendation. This reminds me of Noah Hyang, where you also like pick different ingredients and then they fry it for you. We got my favourite thing, cuttlefish. Okay. fish. Mm. You like the cuttlefish? Super tender. I would say, right, misconception of like Indian roja is that because it's like always displayed like that, right? Like people always think it's very dry, not fresh. But I think this one, right, really defies all the standards. Like everything tastes really clean, I would say. So after we picked, right? So they actually went to, I think they double fry it again. But the flavor is not too like overpowering. It's not bad. This is a really decent Indian roja. This is the final oh. recommendations. We are going to sum up everything and pick what we feel is the best food in Badok. I'm so excited to okay. see Steph give money away. But not for me! We are here to decide the winner. Which are your current top few, top few that you're considering? I have the oyster cake. Oyster I think cake. that okay. was like, wow, game changer. Right. Everything was very juicy despite it being a fried dish. That's actually also one of my favourite. And the chicken rice. It was addictively Do you remember good. the name of the chicken rice? Or not? Um, don't know. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, there's a, there's a oh, spider. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, spider? What? Where? Some of my other favorites is the bar chow mee, the soup bar chow mee. It's not the usual bar chow mee because it's a soup version. The Indian rojak I thought was quite unique as well. One of us picks the stall, the participant gets $50. Uh. So if both of us pick it, then you get $100. This is how the game works. So we need to decide what is the most delicious food in Baroque. The Fuzhou oyster cake recommended by Edna. I think that is my favorite. There's so many strong contenders. Everything today has been a solid like at least four and like four and five, right? Four, five, yeah, four, yeah, five, yeah. four, five. I feel like to all Make up hard. your mind, woman. Uh, the thing that I'll go back to is my chicken rice. Chicken rice! Chicken rice! Sing Sun Li. Wow, this is high praise from Jen. Yeah. Because her family runs a chicken rice my dad restaurant. Kill me. <laughs> so we are going to give them money right must, now. Must. Okay, so we sent Edna $50. Okay, $50 to Eric as well. Spending account number. 
And this concludes episode 1 of season 4 of Bird Oak Food Finders. Uh, I hope you guys like this giveaway concept. Hope you guys like this concept. Do let us know where to go next. Like, comment and subscribe. Okay, bye! Like, comment, subscribe. I like to see young men come out active. Active, huh? This yeah. true Singaporean spirit. Singapore spirit. Hmm. Okay, I'm good. Huh? I mean, you go by. I mean, 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 I mean,